Let's work on the lesson reading clocks. It asks us, what time does the clock show? Answer using digits and a colon. For example, 10 46, so 10 colon 46. The colon separates our hours, like here, the hour is 10, and the minutes, the minutes here are 46. All right, let's look at our clock. I know that the short hand is the hour hand. And I know that the long hand is the minute hand. And any time our minute hand points to 12, we know that is the beginning of a new hour, so zero minutes have passed. So it should be zero, zero, if it's pointing right at the 12. Each of these little tick marks are a minute so once it passes the 12, then minutes have gone by. But when it's pointing right at the 12, it is zero, zero, and we say that o'clock. All right, so we see we write the hour first. What hour is it pointing to? Yes, nine. And it is nine o'clock because the minute hand is pointing directly at the 12, which tells us zero minutes have passed. All right, let's type nine colon zero zero. Okay, what time does this clock show? So let's look at our hour hand first. It's pointing at the six. Then our minute hand is pointing at the 12. So I say my hour first, six. And then remember, no minutes have passed in this new hour. So I'm going to write zero, zero, six o'clock. Next, we have the hour hand pointing at the seven and the minute hand pointing at the 12. So my hour goes first, what is my hour? Yes, seven. And next we have our minutes. How many minutes have passed in our new hour? Yeah, zero, so it's o'clock, seven o'clock. All right, what hour is the hand pointing to? Can you tell me? Yes, five. And what minute is the minute hand pointing to? Yeah, zero, zero. So five, oh, let's clear that. Five o'clock, great. Okay, here, what time does the clock show? This is pointing to the hour, and this is pointing to the minute. So can you tell me what that time would be? Absolutely, four o'clock. All right, next we have the minute hand pointing at the 12 and the hour hand pointing at the 12. So we write the hour first, 12, and then if the minute hand is at 12, that means no minutes have passed, right? So we have zero, zero. Do you see this time, 12 o'clock, written down below? Absolutely, it's right here. Let's work on our next problem. I see the hour hand pointing to the five, so I know the five will go first because it is the hour. Next, the minute hand is pointing to the 12. How many minutes have passed in the hour? Zero, zero. So we know it is five o'clock. When we see those two numbers together, those two zeros, we know it's o'clock. So here is the five o'clock. Right. Next, we have the hour hand pointing at the four. Remember, the hour hand is the shorter hand. And we have 
the long hand pointing at the 12. So I know my short hand will always go first. So four is the hour and zero, zero or o'clock is the minute. So four o'clock, here it is. All right, here, what hour is the hour hand pointing to? Yep, two. What about the minute? Yes, it's pointing to the 12, so we know that's o'clock. So it's two o'clock. Brilliant job. Do you see this time down below? Yeah, right there. All right, next we have the hour hand pointing at the hour and the minute hand pointing at the minutes. What hour are we at? Yes, 11. And how many minutes have passed? Zero, zero, so it is 11 o'clock. Here it is. Great work, my friends.